hello and welcome to swift tutorials in today's video we are going to learn array sorting or how to sort an array of elements in swift 4 so let's start open up your xcode create a new xcode project single view application and here we say short array language will be saved and here we save to our hard drive and here xcode created us the project and now here you can see a view controller dot swift file and in order to create an array you have multiple ways suppose you can create an array a g array and is equals to 1 54 13 and 25 you can also create this array like this where other age array of type here we are we are telling the compiler that our array contains integer objects and we just initialize it so that we can add the elements at later stage okay so these do have the same initialization now in order to short this array swift provides a very common function h array dot short it says short the collection in place and here if you see this short the collection in place you can sort any mutable collection of element that conform to the comparable protocol okay elements are sorted in ascending order okay so by these the elements are sorted in ascending order so here let's print it print sorted array is equals to h array so let's see now we will run our app and we will say is sort function really sort the array or not So here our app runs. And here you can see we use big point. And let me show you here. We can see A that is 154 13 25 as it's initialized. And now just we pass over the short function. And here you can see the error is ascending is sorted ascending and we have our array with 1 13 is in increasing order so now if you want your array to be in descending order then you have another function is array short it says sorted by int so here you can say age 1 and age element 2 return age 1 is less than age 2 okay now let's run it again you see oh, sorry 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 here it says that return to calls is unused so for this we have sign where sorted array is equals to here now let's see it's just giving the warning that this is not used so I'll leave at this moment and here now here you can say we have our array 152 54 13 25 as we declare here now we'll move again and 
just remove this break point and here our A's array is this now let's see the sorted array it's 1 13 25 54 okay so this says that age 1 is less than age 2 this is age 1 is less than age 2 so now I can change this to and greater than now see the result here you can see now the sorted array you can see here the sorted array is 54 25 13 and 1 is in descending order so this way you can sort any array if you want uh, ascending order then just use the function short otherwise you can use sorted by function you can also sort this array name array like this where names array of type string and we will use array and here just print sorted arrays names array I am removing this age array for the time being uh, let's see not move it but just comment this code so that you can get it done by looking at the source code now here we say where names short array is equals to names array dot sorted by here str1 and str2 return str1 dot count is greater than str2 dot count and here we will populate our names array names array dot append new element value of type string it say heavy names array dot append new element of type say and say Jordan names array dot append Nick and in the top we will say names array dot append Joe okay so now let's see the output so here we have names array Joe Fadi Jordan Nick and let's see sorted this is Jordan Harry Nick Joe so it returns that this string one count should be greater than string two count is returns true whenever this condition met okay so that's why the name with most number of characters is returns first and then Harry okay so this is the two functions used to sort an array you can use whatever you want to use if you want to use your own predicate then use sorted by function and if you only want ascending sorting order then use sort function so here in this video we learn how to sort an array in swift 4 if you like our video then please thumbs up this video and do share this video and please subscribe our channel so that you can keep updated for our future video release and if you have any comments and suggestion or feedback to our channel or, or this video then please feel free to write them in the below comment section we will look at those feedbacks and suggestion and we'll try to improve our channel tutorials thanks for watching bye for now